channel if you're new here my name is Hannah Olson and I live in Minnesota with my husband and our two kids and today's video is a fun new type of video that I haven't really done before it's a get it all done with me video and obviously I'm not going to get it all done like 100% done but I do have a to-do list that's over on the counter here that I do hope to accomplish between today tomorrow and maybe the next day so this video may be spread out um, the footage might be spread out over a few days and that's totally fine because this is real life this is real Realistic. You can't get it all done 100% in one day, but you can make good progress So if you've been here a little while or especially more recently Then you know that we are in an apartment, but we also live in southern Minnesota So our apartment is in the Twin Cities area, but then we also have another place we live and I explain all of that I get into it in my apartment tour video so you can check out that video to kind of get the whole life update but anyway the get it all done with me that needs to happen is here at the apartment because we're still trying to settle in this is our new entryway rod so i unrolled it last night and it still needs to flatten a little bit i guess i've already made some progress on this get it all done with me to-do list um, last night i was unpacking some amazon packages and starting to put things where they need to go for instance this is my new crock. Isn't it pretty? Um, it's a ceramic canister for holding all of these utensils, of course. And I wanted a really large one. I think with these, you want to buy ones that look um, bigger, almost too big for your purpose, because inevitably you'll end up putting a lot of extra spatulas in or um, just needing more room to kind of stir it around. You don't want everything wedged in, kind of like when a pencil cup gets too full. I like how it has that cork on the bottom. I will link this below. It's really pretty and sturdy. So at least the utensils are out of the drawer because our drawers are not perfectly organized. Also, I have silverware everywhere. I just kind of lined the drawer really haphazardly with um, parchment paper but I did get a silverware organizer. We're starting off our morning with a Hy-Vee grocery pickup. I love Hy-Vee, it's my favorite grocery store and I love ordering online and then scheduling a pickup time. So that's a great way for us to start our week. Actually, before we go to Hy-Vee, we're going into Hobby Lobby just for fun and then we're going to Goodwill to look for stuff for the apartment. So I thought that would be a fun little Monday morning outing. We had a good time at Hobby Lobby. We wandered for half an hour and only spent $2.56. And it was for something I needed to organize the refrigerator. It's just a little plastic bin to organize the, um, I like to organize cheese in the fridge with these little bins. We do that at home, so I wanted something like that for the apartment. So not too bad. All right, we're done with our morning errands, and I brought the groceries in. This wagon has been such a lifesaver, by the way. It's perfect for carrying anything awkward, like a lot of little bags that you don't want to just carry in your hands. And it's been really perfect for us for the apartment. I will link it below in case anyone else has a need for a sturdy wagon like this. And it folds up so, so easily. I love that part about it because I don't like messing with things that require a lot of anything that feels like assembly, I guess, but it folds up so well and it has a really good handle and maneuvering, so, but it's really sturdy too. I got the kids in bed for nap time. It's a little after 2 p.m. now. I have the dishwasher running, which is super fun because if you heard me mention it before, we don't have a dishwasher in our home in Southern Minnesota, so it's very fun for me here at the apartment to have a dishwasher. I've got that going, so I feel like I'm being productive without doing anything, which is always a bonus. Now I want to get the towels out of the dryer and get those folded. And then I think I'm going to assemble our new lamps. So we don't currently have lamps in the bedrooms upstairs. So Bjorn and I, my husband and I don't have lamps and my kids don't have a lamp. I usually like to have one lamp in the kids' bedroom. But I bought those the other night at the store called At Home, which I had never been to before, but I had a gift card for there. So I bought the lamp stands. What are those called? Lamp? The stand part of the lamp and then the shades separately. It was this huge aisle where you could mix and match all sorts of things. And and then I got light bulbs too. So hopefully they look good together. I tried to pick styles that work well. I don't know really how to mix and match lamps and lamp shades and stands all that much, but it doesn't really matter. It's just a practical thing. Hopefully they'll be pretty enough for the bedrooms, but most of all, we just want some more light because no one wants just overhead lights. Like for instance, I was really glad to get this one in from, I think it was overstock.com and that just adds such 
like perfect lighting to our living room, especially in the evenings. All right, enough procrastinating and talking. Let's get those towels folded. I prefer to fold towels um, while standing up. I feel less productive when I just settle down on the couch. Oh, my hair is all over. I feel less productive when I just am kind of settled in on the couch to fold towels, so I just try to make this more of an action <laughs> kind of activity. It kind of keeps the ball rolling and then I don't get really too bored or too stationary. Okay, the towels are all folded. I'm going to take these upstairs and get the washcloths put away. Um, I got a special or a new little wire basket for them, so hopefully that'll organize them a little better in our master bathroom. This is the wire basket I got for our washcloths here. We have a wire basket at home as well um, to use for washcloths, and it works really well. So I figured we could just put this on top of the bathroom cabinet that's over the toilet, just way up high because both Bjorn and I are tall and we can just reach up for washcloths anytime we need them. actually looks good up there. At least it's out of the way um, so the kids don't dig through them but they're convenient right where we need them. That's what they're called. Okay, these are the lamp vases that I got for the master bedroom here, just matching ones for Bjorn and myself on both sides of the bed. And they are just a black, not too shiny, so I, I don't know if they're classified as a matte sheen to them, but they were one of the cheaper um, lamp vases, and they looked like a decent size. We'll see how they work on top of a nightstand eventually. And this is the lamp base I got for the kids' room. It's a little bit taller than the ones I got for the master bedroom here, but that's because I just have the one for their room and I just want it to kind of light up the room in the evenings. It's not really a small corner light as much, um, but I like this one. It's, it's silver and, well, silver colored and shiny, so I think it'll be cute. For all three lamps, I got the same um, shade because I liked it, and it's just a simple white. I don't even know if it's... It has like a really light, almost fabric-y pattern, but it's just mostly a boring white shade. It flares out just a tiny bit, so we'll see how it looks with everything all together. No matter where it ends, as long as I've got so I'm pleased so far. Now it's the moment of truth. Perfect. That's the lighting. I don't know how it's showing up for you guys, but that's the kind of lighting I was going for. It's an LED filament Edison bulb, 40 watts and soft white. I wanted something warmer. I wanted a warmer toned light just because these are the lamps that we are turning on in the evenings and that's just how I want to make our house cozy or the apartment cozy in the evenings. Nice. That's what I wanted. 
The funny thing is we do not yet have nightstands here in the master bedroom. The kids now have a table that I found at Home Goods when I was wandering one night last week <laughs> and that's I was looking for a table. I just didn't know if I would find one. But they've got a, a room table, I guess you could say, because it's not really a nightstand for next to their beds. It's just a good table that is small and cute and I can show you guys later. But we do not have nightstands in this room, which is fine. Um, it's not like a huge rush but we technically don't have a place to put these lamps, but I think just for fun, I will set them up tonight. There are plug-ins um, on both sides of our bed, which is perfect for nightstands. I like the layout of this room, and at least I can turn on and off a lamp in the evenings instead of getting up to turn off the overhead light. So I'm glad I got that task done. It was just a small item on the to-do list, but it's one of those things that just takes a few minutes to put together, and I'm glad I did it during nap time when the kids were not you know, getting into the lamps and the shades and the light bulbs and other fragile things. So um, I think I'm going to go downstairs before nap time's over and work on the silverware drawer. All right, so this is my silverware organizer. I am hoping that this is a good route to go. We'll see how it works. But it's narrow enough to fit in this narrow drawer here. And obviously this is not a good system. You can see how they just slide the silverware pieces in. They have a little picture here for each section, like a fork, knife, um, spoon, but I don't know if I'm necessarily going to follow that because I have little kid silverware as well, so we'll just kind of feel it out and see what all fits. to-do list is getting this big huge calendar hung up. It's my favorite type of calendar ever that I've bought um, and I got it from jane.com. I can't remember if you can find it elsewhere or if it was just a daily deals kind of thing but it has come around more than once because I was able to buy one not only for at home but here for the apartment. I just love the hand lettering so much but I wanted to get this hung up. I'm going to attempt to use 3M hooks. I don't know how well they will do on this like textured, here I'll show you, on this kind of textured apartment wall but I'm going to give it a shot because I feel like it's one of my only options and I do want my calendar hung up. It's a slightly heavier calendar but it's just paper with a cardboard backing and I got these command hooks so I don't want a calendar to be something that everyone walking into the apartment sees right away. I feel like it's a more personal thing although of course anyone you're inviting into your house it probably doesn't matter that much but I just wanted it on the back side so it's not like the main focal point when you first walk in and look around. <laughs> you can see our whole apartment like empty because I did an empty apartment tour video so make sure to watch that if you really want to know where everything is or if you're just curious. I, I like seeing empty home tours and apartment tours too but anyway I want this on the back side of this wall. So it's this wall that you first see when you walk in and you see the kitchen off to the right. Um, by the way this was not here when we first toured this apartment or moved in but one weekend we were out of town and they had to do some looking around. Maintenance had to do some fixing, I guess, of water stuff that was coming either from upstairs or, I don't know, it wasn't anything that we had done, but they still had to come in and look at it. And then, long story, but we came home and there was just like a fine white powdery dust over everything downstairs here. And I think a lot of this had been sanded down and of course just taken apart. So I assume this will be painted again, but it used to all be gray. It doesn't matter that much, it's just not pretty to look at and it, I wanted to explain in case you thought we were doing some kinds of remodeling or something. <laughs> it seems like it wouldn't be large enough of a space for this huge calendar, but it actually fits. I'll show you kind of one-handed here. Uh, I just want to make sure that it doesn't hang on the outlet underneath there and then also here whenever someone turns on the kitchen light I don't want them to get a paper cut so I think I will slide it over a little bit more than I'd initially thought of doing. First 
things first. Make sure you are in the correct month. Awesome. I like how it looks there. So now we just wait and see and hope that it doesn't fall down or something, but so far so good. I think the last project I'll do today, at least during nap time, is a simple one. I just want to get the kids' bibs hung up on the side of the fridge. We have the same system at home. I'll just put one hook here and one hook there, and then you can actually fit several bibs onto each hook, or I usually do about two. I like to have Sophie's bibs, Soren's bibs, but it really doesn't matter. I put them in whatever color bib happens to be clean at the moment, but it's just nice to have them tucked away right there on the side of the fridge so I can grab and go when I am setting out meals. First, I think I'll give it a little wipe down on the side. I don't know whatever that is. It's nice to have this little corner of the kitchen organized. It's good to have things off of the counters or even out of drawers and stored in a more vertical or hidden way because this is not what you're going to see right away when you walk into the kitchen. It's on the back side of the fridge from like the front door or what you usually see. This is mostly what I will see when I'm cooking and stuff. I forgot to show you guys what I got from Goodwill today. I needed another skillet and then instead of getting a whole cookware set right now I just saw this today and decided to get it. This is from the brand called Green Pan and I've heard of them before but I looked up prices online while I was in Goodwill and I decided to get this because it was a way better deal than buying it new. Hey guys, it's another day now and I'm really pleased with how productive yesterday ended up being. So that's good. I was looking at my to-do list and a lot of it already is done, aside from things like um, vacuuming, but we need to clean up the whole living room, dining room area first before I can do that. Today's kind of a busier day because, well it is a busier day, because Sophie has dance class and I am going to be driving her home for that because it means a lot to her and she's really been enjoying it and I just wanted her to be able to attend. But anyway, that will take up a big chunk of today. I do, however, want to mop the kitchen floor entryway area. I did end up buying a Swiffer wet jet wet mop. Um, I can link it below, I just don't know yet if I like it, but I want to get those kitchen floors done today because they've just gotten so much um, dirt and just dried slush stuff um, tracked in. Today I am making a Thai chicken and broccoli rice bowls for for lunch and hopefully leftovers for supper but we'll see but I have that chicken marinating and I love it so much it's a good recipe I can try to link that below I think it was in an ebook sent out by espresso and cream Soren's been trying to mop for me haven't you he's pretty determined thanks honey can mama hold the handle thank you had a busy morning. We went to Home Goods this morning and we found a large like bedroom mirror, which is awesome. By the way, I'm coming down the stairs. It's really echoey here. <laughs> I'm not sure why because there's carpet, but there's just a lot of wall. But um 
I've been cleaning up after lunch. We had a fun morning running errands. So the kids have been playing happily over here. We still have a messy back corner area, but not really too bad. That's just over there's homeschool stuff. And this is all the toys that they took out while I was cleaning up the kitchen. <laughs> but they are dinosaurs. Aren't you dinosaurs? Having a snack or basically a feast. So they've been busy with that. And so more dinosaurs go like it. Oh, and more dinosaurs will like it too. A big feast. Even a big dinosaur. Oh, good. Yeah, it looks like a feast for a big dinosaur. And I wanted to show you guys our wax warmer, which arrived in the mail yesterday. It seems so simple, but it, it makes me happy. So I wanted to show you. It really helps make it feel more homey to me. Um, we have a wax warmer like this, the same brand. It's called Happy Wax at home and that one has a cord and kind of stands alone. This is just one of the plug-in ones so it's cheaper and smaller. This apartment isn't that much smaller than our house at home but that's fine. Um, I just wanted something a little more simple and smaller here. This is the scent that I went with for this one. So this is just the one that I have here at the apartment. It says fresh mix, fresh cotton, lemon verbena, is that how you say it, verbena? And baby powder, so it's just that scent. The one we have at home, you can set a timer so that it turns off after three or six or nine hours. And then you can set like low, medium, or high heat. You can't do that with this one um, because it's more simple, but it has an off and on switch. And I like how it glows pretty um, brightly, so I can definitely tell it's on when I'm about to leave the house. But I think it adds a nice touch to our kitchen and it makes the apartment smell good. Is that my story? Hi. Can you say hi? Uh, uh, hi. So I have a story for you guys. Um, we ordered a dining table from Ashley Home Store, like their online warehouse, and it arrived to us smashed, like the corner of, or the underside edge of the table was smashed, and we had to exchange it with them, and they sent a new one. And that arrived in another two weeks of shipping, and that was smashed as well, which we discovered this past week. So now we have had two of the same dining table delivered to us with the box completely smashed on one side, and well, two sides for the second time, it was even worse. It's an expensive table, and so not only are we without a table and our camping, see? Well, we're not really camping, but you know, this is our uh, dining setup. We have the chairs, the chairs are ready. Luckily we have a child's Ikea table. Not only are we without a table, I'm just concerned that the delivery person has now smashed hundreds of dollars worth of these tables <laughs> and probably other people's furniture too. So that's really a bummer. What's especially a bummer is that I actually called Ashley Furniture yesterday to order that table for a third time um, and have it shipped to the store so that we could pick it up ourselves. Uh, with the truck and just ensure that it would not get smashed for a third time. Anyway, they said the table would not be available until at least um, closer to the end of March and that's not gonna happen. We're gonna have to move on and I'm just sad because my vision for this dining room was you know put together all based off of the table you know like the rug and the black chairs and I wanted a rustic brown kind of farmhouse looking table. So I'm disappointed. I mean, I'm not like throwing an adult temper tantrum about it. We There are a lot of tables out there and we'll be fine. But um, I think we might have to go furniture shopping this weekend. But the kitchen table we had ordered had similar drawers to um, this table, our coffee table. So that's why it's kind of a bummer. It won't really match the same style. So this is a Target order I had placed. Some items are only available online and some are only available for pickup, so. I just kind of mix and match what I do to get what I need, but um, this is Dawn Ultra Gentle Clean, and it's a pomegranate and rose scent, but this is by far the best dishwashing soap that I have used. If you have sensitive skin like me, I have really sensitive skin and especially hands. My hands struggle here in Minnesota winters when everything is just so bitterly cold and dry. So I highly recommend trying this stuff out if you do dishes by hand and if you have sensitive skin. It's called Gentle Clean, otherwise it doesn't really say too much about sensitive skin or something, but I've just found, I've tried so many kinds of dishwashing soap and uh, this is by far the best one that I've found. But it is hard to find. I finally saw this was in stock um, on Target's website and so I bought six of them. But sometimes I've found them on Amazon, sometimes I've found them only in store in Target. 
or in other grocery stores, but yeah, it's harder to find, but definitely worth the search. Plus it does smell really good. So I just wanted to share that little tip in case you are interested. While we're at it with the soap recommendations, I'm going to share another one that I love. This is something that is available at Hy-Vee. If you've heard of that, it's a Midwest based grocery store chain, but I love Hy-Vee. That's where I do my online grocery pickup orders, but their store brand or whatever it is, is called Top Care Every Day. Um, that's just a brand you can find at Hy-Vee. And I've liked a lot of things from Top Care that sometimes they substitute Top Care brand stuff, especially for household items. But this is the Top Care hand soap and I love this one so much. It is lavender scent. And this one is the lemon verbena scent. I just love these. I think they smell great and they're pretty gentle on hands. They are, it says tough on dirt, gentle on skin. Just a citrusy scent and then the calming lavender scent. So I always like having this one in the kitchen, this one in bathrooms, and I just stock up on them whenever I can. So I just wanted to recommend these soaps in case you have a high V near you or if you have access to that Top Care brand. These have been really great. Well guys, that's it for this week's Get It All Done With Me video. I hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride for several days as I checked things off of my to-do list. I feel like we're getting a lot more settled into our apartment here which is a wonderful feeling. I'm a homebody and so I want definitely to have that space where I feel like I can truly relax and like we have systems in place. Of course, I didn't get it all done in terms of 100% of my to-do list done, but I definitely made progress and it was a blast bringing you along with. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. I would love to have you along for the ride. Thank you so much to those of you who are already subscribers because I hit that goal of 100 and I know it seems small, but it means Means a lot to me. I picture like 100 people in a room who actually care about what I have to say or um, what I can share with you guys. I hope that my videos are an encouragement to you just in your day-to-day -day life and yeah I'm glad to have you here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.